Hi guys. I'm going to try to keep my voice a little bit lower in this video. It's going to be an ASMR. Because Leo is sleeping. Leo is my son, for those of you who are new to this channel. What a week it's been. This video is going to be a little bit of a catch-up, a little bit of an update, and a little bit of an unboxing of this miscellaneous brain fart of an item that I bought at Louis Vuitton about two a month, two months ago, I haven't since that moment taken it out of the bag. Let's not shout, the child is sleeping. Haven't taken it out of the bag. So I've just put my son down to sleep. This last week, I post once a week. You see the evolution of my life weekly. This last week, since I filmed the last video to now, all I've been doing is, all I've been doing is nursing this child who has croup. That's like a baby kind of cough thing. And it's just been a whole ordeal. Like it's difficult. I think illnesses and sicknesses, childhood ones, adult ones go through evolutions, okay? Like what they mean when you're a kid and what they mean when you're an adult is completely different. I remember being a child and getting a cold or flu and it was like the best thing ever. It means you don't have to go to school, girl. You don't have to go anywhere. You just get to lie down. Then you get to that teenage stage and it means you get to miss university or school or whatever still, right? And then you get to be an adult without kids. And illness at that point is a little bit annoying. You don't want to be ill, right? And by the way, I'm not talking about chronic illness. I'm talking about the regular flu um, or cold. And it gets to a point where, you know, you're an adult. You can lie down, you can recover. What they don't tell you is when you become a parent, my friend, illnesses take on a whole, whole different meaning. If you've got the illness, there is no off time. There is no recovery. There is no lying down. Forget it. You have to look after your child. Like, I, I can't actually, anyone who's not a parent won't understand. And then there is the even worse scenario. And that is if your child is ill, it's not like this soppy kind of like, oh no, a little Bobby's ill, I don't know what to do. It's more like uh, the logic, like you're trying to, it's like doing a math equation that you just don't know how to do. Do we do this, antibiotic, can he sleep, waking up every two hours, you know, medicine. It's just a whole kerfuffle that, you know, you don't want. And then there's the missed days of daycare, which you're paying for anyway, which I don't even want to start. So off the back of that, I thought we'd just sit, catch up, have a sip of coffee, which I haven't made because I'm just running like a mad woman and just grab this camera and that's what we're gonna do. I don't know what is happening. Why is my hair in a braid? Am I Lara Croft? It's like really growing long. Okay, so the story of this um, LV purchase. This item came out in 2018 in Louis Vuitton at the time. I thought it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I was in Bond Street, London with my mum. She said it's hideous. As a good daughter that I am, I was easily influenced and did not purchase it for two reasons. Number one, um, I purchased many things that my mum thinks are ugly, but for the price point of what they are at the time, I was like, I just cannot be done. I just didn't have that kind of money at the time to throw at that kind of item. This time, me and my mom, when she visited, were in Westfield, Bondi Junction or somewhere. And I saw these, exactly the same colorway that I wanted. I hadn't always seen this colorway when I go into Vuitton. And she goes, get it, I love it. It's so nice. And I'm like, you said it was ugly. And she said to me, no, I didn't. Anyway. She claims it's now nice and she was mistaken, blah, blah, blah. But this is the point, okay? Because I haven't looked at them. I don't actually know what my reaction is gonna be, but I hope it's gonna be a positive one because I really like this item. But I don't know, kind of like over the two months that I haven't looked at it, I feel like I now hate it. Like I don't know what is going on. The reason is in 2018, it was just the vibe, right? Now it's become a classic piece, but I just don't know if it's the vibe for me. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Let's unbox it. Like, I just don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna style it. I don't know. If that person who's knocking doesn't quit and not wake up my kid, I'm going to like 
What do you guys think it is? What do you think it is? Let me tell you. Here they are. They. 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 It's two of them. You know why I think I feel this way? It's just like the most expensive pair of they I've ever bought in my life. I've never bought sneakers for this price ever, ever. But you know, I've really wanted them. And now I'm like, did I just buy them for the vintage purpose of wanting them so badly for so long? Do I actually still like them? Or is it just like the nostalgia of like, I wanted them, I didn't get them, here they are, now I got them, why did I get them, should have got something else, anyway. First reaction on camera, okay? I'm gonna look at it on camera. Okay. Not as crazy as I thought. I haven't looked at it. See, I'm just looking at, at it in the viewfinder. So this is what it's going to look like from far away. I was worried that they're going to look so, so 2018. But are they a classic shoe? Or are they 2018? Let me know in the comments. Let me know because you're my friend. And, and you know, I think what I really see these with is like, imagine she's wearing a teddy coat, Max Mara, you know, got a glasses on maybe a baseball cap and these underneath is just like singlet and maybe leggings you know she's going to pick up her kid she's like a boss babe she's you anyway, know what's a boss babe that's such modern language why is she a boss babe she's a boss anyway she what do you think i love the colorway i'll tell you that right now the colorway is perfect. I don't like all their like extreme colors and like sporty vibes. I like this. The only thing I was thinking is, is this a classic shoe or is this very much of that moment, this heel, you know? But what I do like about it is, is on the foot, it looks really elongating and slimming to the legs. If you haven't tried it, you should, um, because of this gap here. The sneaker almost goes down like a plunge. It's almost like a cleavage for the leg. And because of the elongated shape and the elongated back here, it kind of gives you this like almost alien foot vibe in a really hot way. Okay, Margarita, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do you know what? I like it. I think it's it's just a feeling that I've never bought a designer sneaker. I've bought a lot of designer heels, but after my foot surgery, I'm just I'm just not ready to buy a designer pair of heels. It's just not the moment. When I'm in heels again, that's when I'll buy it as that reward to myself. But this is my first pair of sneakers after the surgery. Look how bizarre they are. They are so cool. So I imagine styling them like that. I wouldn't style them with jeans. I wouldn't style them. Forgive me looking in the viewfinder. I'm just looking at them. I wouldn't style them with jeans or anything like that. It would either be with a mini dress or like almost like a heel or in that Maxmara winter vibe. Or, oh my god, guys, imagine them, okay, with kind of an oversized, really soft, white, what's it called? What, what's everyone wearing since 2020? Um, why is brain not braining? Come on, brain, brain. Lounge suit, like a, a, a sweatsuit, like a really plush one, again, with the baseball cap, like... A brown one or something like it would just look so like cozy and hot you know like from here they look like a normal shoe and then from the side it's a party anyway so that is them let me know what you think i'm just gonna wear them you know what look at this it looks like an ice cream at the back all of this but they are very comfortable if you're considering it so okay i don't think i don't i don't regret it i don't regret it even if it is 2018, let me tell you something. Even if something isn't a trend at the moment, it just matters what you think about it. Let me answer myself. I'm going to answer myself my, my own questions, okay? This is how I talk to myself, guys. This is what I do. When I ask myself questions like that, it's obviously coming from a place where I'm like, is it this? Is it that? But what you got to do with yourself and be like, answer your own questions. You have the answers to all your questions. Is it a trend of 2018? Maybe it is. Do I care? No, I don't because I don't wear trends. I wear what I like and that's what I bought them for. The point is you've always got to just make yourself happy and what you think looks good and what you think is a vibe. Like look, people are now wearing 1990s trends, like not now, they've been doing it for 10 years. So everything just rotates and goes back around in fashion. So these are my shoes and I'm gonna keep them. So that's that. Hopefully Leo is going to be getting better. 
keep our fingers crossed soon and I will do other really cool videos in the future. I was going to make it a vlog. You know, last time when we spoke over the last video, you guys said you all love a vlog, um, like a daily content, like this piece would be part of a daily vlog and a bigger video. So I'm thinking to do that from now on. What do you think? Let me know what you think of the shoes. Let me know what's going on in your lives and what you'd like to hear more about. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you lots, like chili tots, bye.